We'll tell you a bit about the comeback. Brutal throwing the ball downfield in the first half. Stagnant was the word he used. Two for five with a pick. That turned around in a big way in the second half. Six to seven for 129 yards and a score. An important momentum shift in the game. Steve called it a big drive. They had to get points. They did. Breeze third touchdown of the season with less than a minute to go in the first half. Second most in the first half behind Aaron Rodgers. He's got four. Breeze ultimately leads the Saints back from 20 to three. The second biggest comeback of his career. He entered Monday 1-48 and 48 in his career when trailing by at least 17 points with the only coming back, only victory, I should say, coming back in 2000. And now. Louis Riddick, Brian Greasy, join me as they do every, might, every Monday night following a game. And, uh, fellas, it, it's, it's so odd, so jarring to see this Saints offense that's been so explosive for so long be what Drew Brees called stagnant. And they really were for the first half. But then in the second half, they look like we're more accustomed to them seeing. Lewis, I'll start with you. You've seen them a couple times this year. Are the Saints more who they showed in the first half or who they showed in the second, in your opinion? I think it's it's an evolving process. I think you're starting to see them start to hit their stride as Emmanuel Sanders in particular gets going. When Mike Thomas comes back, remember, he's sure. not playing. So a sure. big component of this offense isn't there right now. But they're still winning football games and starting to hit their stride without him. And as long as Alvin Kamara stays healthy, Emmanuel keeps doing his thing. They're going to be there in the end. Drew's one of the most efficient throwers that the NFL's ever seen. You know, I think it was interesting when you go back to the mentor for Sean Payton and Anthony Lynn, the coaches in this game, it was Bill Parcells. And he always would say the same thing. Nobody cares about your excuses. There is always a way to win, no matter what you're having to deal with. No Michael Thomas, whatever it might be. And that's Sean Payton, and that's Drew Brees. In the second half, they figured it out. They didn't panic. They took their time. They took what the defense gave them, and at the end of the day, continue to put the pressure on the rookie quarterback, and it ended up working. And Bill Parcells also said your record's what uh, you are what your record says you are. And so the yes. Chargers' record says they're one and four. But look, we just saw a, a young man who is more than ready for his close-up, Justin Herbert. He, he has shown, I think, a whole lot more than anybody really expected this soon. Has he surprised Greece the Chargers in just how high his ceiling already is? There's no question, Scott. I mean, I, there's no way they could have anticipated how fast he was going to assimilate to this game. And we talked with Justin yesterday, and he said, listen, everything's been a blur. It's a completely different game. It's different than what I played in college, and I'm having to learn on the fly. And for him to go out in this stage, first time on Monday Night Football, and the stage not be too big for him, to make the throws from the pocket, to see the field, uh, to extend plays. I mean, those are, that's all the things you want a great quarterback to do. And he's done it now in his fourth game. Yeah, and he's doing it in crucial situations. He's doing it when people are pressuring him. He's doing it when people get after him on third down. He's doing it in the red area. And you have to obviously give him a ton of credit because he has taken this opportunity and ran with it. But you also have to give the coaching staff a tremendous amount of credit, too. And you have to give Pep Hamilton, his quarterback coach, mm -hmm. a lot of credit. Justin gives him the credit, too. It's always a group effort. But there's no doubt that they made the right choice in selecting this young man inside of the top ten. He's going to be there for a long, long time. Yeah, and I mean, I feel bad for Tyrod again because it's like I figured it was his job and then we know what happened. And then, obviously, once a guy gets on the field and puts this on tape, He's going to stay on the field and keep putting it on tape. What a show on Monday night. A great one, guys. Great, uh, great work with the travel well. We'll talk again next week, okay? Thanks, Thanks Scott. Scotty. Well, you are what your record says you are. And deep, Jalen Guyton. Then the next play, a little play action. Mike Williams, back healthy, and what a difference maker he is. Chargers with a 13-3 lead. Saints. Breeze, floats one, picked. Nasir Adderley, picking up blockers. He's got a, eyes and nose on the end zone. Does he get there? Stretching out. Not quite. They would take a look. He was down just shy of the goal line. Henry. Steve called it. Hunter Henry. Motion, give the tight end some room, Scott. There you go. Football analyst, golf insider. Herbert, the first rookie quarterback to throw three touchdowns in the first half of a Monday night football game is 20 to 3. Huge drive. Gotta get something. Breeze. Alvin Kamara. Breeze. Mm. Emmanuel Sanders. Breeze. Sanders. They said he was down. How they said that, I have no idea. But they did. Then Breeze does that thing he does. He kind of invented it. He and Stafford do it more than anybody. Just put the 
Ball over the goal line. Touchdowns 20 to 10. It's now 20 to 13 in the fourth. Freeze under pressure. Sacked by Joey Bosa. So now it's third and 14. And Breeze has time. A little pump to his right looking deep. Jared Cook, who couldn't play a week ago because of a groin issue. And uh, he and his groin are in the end zone. 20 to 20. Herbert. Play action. Roll the pocket. And nearly picked. Ooh. Malcolm Jenkins can't squeeze it. Herbert looking for Henry. Just over 86's catch radius. Chargers have got to punt it back. But Breeze finds Marquez Callaway, but he's short of the first down, and the Saints are unable to do anything with it. And this is where Herbert dials up the deep ball. Got a man wide open, and it's Williams. Wow. How do you lose him? Herbert, fourth touchdown pass of the game, the most by a rookie in the history of Monday Night Football. So now the Saints have got to answer. Breeze. Camara. As everyone understands, a weapon in the passing game. Just over two to play. Second and one. Camara dances, finds space. Gets into Chargers territory, first down. Inside the two-minute warning, it's first and ten. Wheel! Camara. Oh, there's no way he can stay in bounds, but he does. All that work he does on balance balls and this and that is remarkable balance, hand-eye. And he actually got three feet in bounds once he got it. So now on third and four, what's Peyton dial up? You take Breeze off the field to bring in Taysom Hill. Mm. Sanders in motion, play action to Kamara. That takes the defense's eyes and attention away from Hill. And this guy puts his head down and plows into the end zone for the touchdown. They're able to tie it up at 27 again, a missed extra point earlier. Chargers, though, have got time and timeouts. Justin Jackson out of the backfield. Once again, Justin Jackson out of the backfield on second and two. Badge has got a pretty big leg. You're indoors pregame, as they showed you on the broadcast, hit from 58 with ease. Now third and one. Coach Lynn gets aggressive, liked it, throw it up, and Williams makes a spectacular catch. Another look at Williams. High points it, parallel to the ground, Comes down, has his helmet knocked off. Just an incredible catch. So the Chargers get aggressive, take the shot, get into field goal range. And now Badgley with an opportunity from 50 to win it. It's drawing. Is it going to draw enough? It does not. It never hits the upright square. No, he stoinks left or right. This right off the upright and drops down to the ground and this Chargers team who came so close against Kansas City who came so close against Tampa Bay that guy Herbert he's dueled with Mahomes he's dueled with Brady now he's dueling with Breeze can he get an overtime win Breeze Callaway first down midfield obviously you know the rules maybe you don't it's confusing if they score a touchdown they win Jared Cook first down Latavius Murray. This time it's Murray out of the backfield. First down on second and five. It's now third and six. Looking right. Receiver fell down. Breeze trying to make something out of nothing. Cannot find Emmanuel Sanders. Drive stalls. Will Lutz. Close to automatic as it gets. That gives the Saints the lead. And that means the Chargers now have the opportunity, albeit without a great deal of time. The Saints used essentially half of the overtime period to try to make an answering drive or a scoring drive to win it. Roughing call here on an incomplete pass as Malcolm Brown's low. They'll call that every time. Later in the drive, Herbert, K.J. Hill a little behind. He cannot call it, haul it in. 
And so that means it's fourth and seven. It's the last chance. Last chance, go to the guy who has done so much in the game, and that is Mike Williams. But Marshawn Lattimore makes a spectacular tackle of a much bigger man, and Williams goes down about a half a yard shy of the line to gain, and that is where the game would end. Chargers had their chances, had an opportunity to win it with a kick. Record, though, says they're one and four. Throughout his career, Drew Brees has had a knack for those fourth quarter comebacks. Monday was the 37th time that he's won a game when he has, his team has been behind in the fourth quarter. That ties Tom Brady for the second most all-time trailing only. Peyton Manning, those three names are on a lot of lists when it comes to records for throwing the football in the National Football League. Time now, T-Mobile post-game coverage.